hanging out here with Max McLaughlin. While a lot of you guys haven't been on the track yet, Max has actually been out six times. Of course, he went down to Volusia for the Dirt Car Nationals. Got a win on the fourth night. Also finished second, third, eighth. Had a DNF on a deal where he had a flat on the very last lap. Man, that one's got a sting. And it was on the last night, too. Went yeah. down to Cherokee, 20th to 6th. Good run down there. Spent some time in Mooresville at Dad's Place in between. Just got back on Tuesday. How we doing, man? Not too bad. How you doing, Doug? Good. How was the trip overall? Sounds like it was pretty uh, good. Yeah, I'd say it was pretty successful. I mean, you know, you could definitely look at it at different points and say, uh, you know, we had some pretty horrible luck, but uh, we re rebounded really well. You know, we uh, had an oil pump belt break in the heat race, and um, really? you know, actually it caused us to lose an engine. So uh, came from 14th in the B main to win the B main. And then, uh, you know, it came from uh, whatever it was, 24th to finish 8th in the feature. So, um, and actually, you know, started to gain rubber at the end where you couldn't even pass with uh, about 10 to go. So uh, we had a really good car. Um, you know, basically the, uh, you know, whole time we were down there and it was two different race cars, which makes me feel even better, you know. So, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. We went into the last night with the point lead and um, track was honestly horrible the last night. And rubbered and um, you know I read your eighth and kind of was over from there but um, mm -hmm. I think we were fourth taking the white though and uh, you know lost the tire and drove it into the pits. So which night was the eighth place because you obviously after you broke Third your oil, oil yeah. pressure belt you had to change the oil pump belt but you had to obviously yeah. had to get a backup car off the trailer? Yeah so we uh, yeah right in the heat race uh, lost power steering going into one coming off of two I had no oil pressure and, and shut it off and you never know the motor might be fine but um, yeah, you, you, you never want to chance it yeah so uh, you know, right then I was singling to the guys to get the backup car out, and by the time I got down to the pits, they had already had it on the lift gate. So, um, you know, actually, uh, we're I think we're the fastest car in the feature that night. We, uh, you know, came from 24th to, to 8th, and, um, you know, we're charging at the end. I was almost by freezing at the line for 7th. So, um, yeah, we uh, had a really successful week. We won, ended up winning the next night. And, um, oh, with that backup car? Yeah, with the backup car, and then, uh, you know, put it in contention to win again, uh, you know, the next night by speed, just, uh, you know, luck of the redraw and track, I guess. So mm -hmm. it is what it is. But um, it was really cool to see Jimmy go down and get his first win there and, uh, you know, win the big gator. And we worked, uh, you know, really hard together on setups this off season. So it's cool to see us both unload and get wins in the, you know, on the Super Dirt Car Series. And the gator is the overall points championship. So obviously, if you're not going to win it, <laughs> Jimmy's yeah. the guy you want. I got mine last year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. So we got two gators so, in yeah. the shot. Do we have them somewhere? Do we keep Mine's them at my house. Yeah, Jimmy's okay. is back there. And then both the little ones. My little one's actually on one of our, our sponsors, Mac Tool Truck. He's uh, you know, showing that off for the week, so it was pretty nice. cool. Now, what about the engine then? Is it out at the builder now or no? Yeah, we're, uh, I got to send that back. I don't think it's left yet, but, um, you know, it's going to go this week, and um, hopefully they'll take it apart and say, man, this thing looks pretty good. Good job. Mm -hmm. You shut it off in time, but, yeah. you know, it's probably not what's going to happen. It's, uh, you know, at least uh, – you know, have to have a little work done to it, but you know, hopefully it's just not too bad. So when that happens, the oil pressure light immediately comes on? Yeah, yeah. I just, you know, pulling tear offs and, and, you know, three wide traffic. You can't look in the middle of the corner. But by the time I was coming off the corner, I looked down, had no oil pressure and shut it off and popped it neutral. But hopefully mm -hmm. I saw it in time. But, uh, you know, you never know. Is it easy to notice? Is it a position where you can notice quickly? Yeah, it's right in front of you. It's a big red light, but there's three gauges on the dash, so you never know which one's red. You know, if it's uh, temperature, you know. Um, you know, sometimes it's not too high and it's red. And then there's another light that, you know, uh, that measures, uh, you know, water level and that can light up sometime and be all right. And, um, you know, fuel pressure, if it's still running, you know, it's mm -hmm. usually not an issue. So uh, by the time I would look down and saw it was oil pressure light, you know, uh, that's a big concern for sure. And some guys have told me that if that oil pressure light came out on the white flag and you're leading, you might try yeah, to make it Yeah, that's a different story. Right? I probably would have tried to carry the extra half a lap. And, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean. It definitely is. What it is three to go, and the old pressure light comes on here. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of you know spur of the moment deal. If it's a big race, it's probably worth uh, trying to finish. But mm -hmm. if it's not, then uh, it's probably worth saving your equipment. So I would imagine the biggest takeaway from that is you had to feel good about what you did at the shop, as you were able to unload a car with no hot laps and, and take it out and have a strong run. I would imagine that's the big. Is that the biggest takeaway? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest takeaway is just having both cars in contention to win every night. You know, um, it was the first night. We were three wide for the lead with two to go with me, Friesen, and uh, Peter. And the second night, I don't remember. Oh, I ran, uh, you know, second to Williamson. And, uh, you know, we had a really good run, really good showing. And, um, you know, we were almost in contention to win again. And then, uh, you know, the third night is when we lost motor, or vice versa. I don't remember if it was second or third, whatever. Yeah, it all comes blurry uh, after a while. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of racing in a week. But mm -hmm. we were in contention to win every night, and so was Jim. So it was definitely a huge momentum builder for, for our team, and I think it's going to be a great year. So when did you decide to, to stay for Cherokee? Because what is it, you went back to Dad's house? We knew we were staying. Oh, you knew you were staying? Yeah, okay. we knew ahead of time. We had our uh, 
you know, the Brett Dale bodies are a lot taller. Um, you're allowed to, you know, cheat your cars up by, you know, by say a little bit more. And uh, we had bodies ready to go in the trailer, just had to change them back at the shop. And then, um, you know, all the guys had to demount all the Hoosiers and put on American Racers. So that's probably the biggest, uh, you know, hardest part of the whole deal. But um, you know, it is what it is. Well, did you run a big block or did you have a big small block? Yeah, there? we ran a big block. Both of us did. And it probably wasn't the go-to thing to do there. That's what I've heard. Um, yeah, it, 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 I think it hurt us more than anything. But, um, you know, I ended up pitting for a tire and ended up finishing sixth and, and charging. So I think a couple more laps, we would have been contention to win that race the way the tires were going. So, okay. um, you know, it, was, uh, it paid off and we're in really good shape in the points. So, um, you know, that elite deal pays a lot of money and uh, it's going to be fun for sure. I'd never heard of that track before. Is there a track locally here that is somewhat similar to it? No, no I wouldn't say what's, anything. What's about the it? red clay, the Carolina red clay is just... I don't know. It's native to what we got, but that's definitely not my favorite track in the area. Um, I've won a few times at Carolina. I've won at Dublin. Um, you know, been friendship. Uh, there's a lot of really cool tracks in that area. Um, you know, Cherokee raced all right. You know, for a certain amount of laps, and then it immediately takes rubber, and it's you know pretty miserable to race on. But is that the characteristic of the red clay then, or is it just yeah, the way things I don't work? Know. That I day? mean, you, you think about it, and Carolina's got red clay, and it's uh, you know it usually races pretty good. So mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about that place. Um, I've raced there once, you know, eight years ago, and uh, it was the same way, you know, ripping around the bottom, and just I don't know, you know, okay. late models sometimes have good races there, but it seems like anytime the big blocks go there, mm -hmm. um, it just doesn't really produce that great of racing for some reason, but. Um, you know, maybe too much banking on the bottom, you know, just probably a little bit too fast. And okay. It is fast. I mean, you're, you're hauling yeah. the mail there. Yeah, you're going pretty good. Half so. mile, three-eighths? Yeah, I think it's a half mile. Okay. Yeah. So what's next now? What's We're going to Delaware. Um, When's that? Uh, next weekend. I think the 10th through the 12th. Um, then we'll... Uh, so you'll yeah. miss Motorsports Expo then? Yeah. Okay. Jimmy will be there, you know, so... Oh, he's not doing that, just you? No, yeah, I'm running the whole elite deal. Um, he's just, you know, going to pick and choose which ones he wants to run. And then, um, you know, we're just – actually, we're going to take his hauler because, you know, my hauler isn't even done yet. Oh, okay. But I'm um, going to, you know, take Jim's hauler, me, Dad, Kurt, and you know, Jake hit the road. And, um, you know, and the dogs. Try to win us some, yeah, and the dogs, <laughs> And the sure. dogs, yeah. No they doubt. were just here in the shop. There's yeah, the dogs are necessity. <laughs> yeah, the official shop dogs. I don't think Eldora will go. But Jake's dog's Eldora. She doesn't make the road trips, but the other three definitely do. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, overall plans, weekly, series-wise, you said you're following the Short Track Super Series? Yeah. For sure? Yeah. No, I'm yeah, following the Short Track Super Series, the Elite Series, for sure. Oh, the Elite Series. Which is, okay. uh, you know, the, the big paying races and uh, 30 grand to win the overall points. And, um, you know, then go to, I think we're... You know, plan on going Fridays at Brewerton, and uh, I'm going to go to Orange County on Saturday night. So, okay, um, definitely got a lot. You know, yeah. it's going to be a pretty fun. I, you know, it's going to be a thrash, but that's you know half the fun of dirt racing, I believe. Mm -hmm. You know, I did the asphalt stuff for you know, a few years there, and it's a lot of downtime, and um, I don't really like downtime. It's a lot okay. of fun. You know, getting well, you know, this is leaving your job Brewerton. Now, so you don't yeah. want job downtime. You want yeah, to race. It'll be fun though. You know, leaving Brewerton on Friday night and. You know, Jake and I in the front seat of the toter figuring out what we're going to do for tomorrow to get ready and, you know, probably wash cars on Friday nights and, mm -hmm. you know, load up and drive three and a half hours down the road for Saturday. Yeah, that way you're there in the morning and you don't have to do that drive. Yeah. And then if something goes wrong, you got time, all that stuff. Super Dirt Car yeah. Series, yes or no? Yep. Yeah, we're going to okay. do the Super Dirt Car Series full time. So we're mm -hmm. looking about 70 races, you know, give or take. So it nice. um, should be pretty fun. And, you know, like next weekend, um, I don't know what my plans are. I've got a couple different options. We're off here. Mm -hmm. So I think I might go... Uh, you know, down south and run the asphalt modified for Gary Putnam. Which um, weekend is that? This weekend coming the 18th, up? Or next? 18th. 18th. Okay. Yeah. So, right. um, you know, there's short track super series races too. So I don't know, really know what I'm doing yet. Been in asphalt mods much? They look like a ball. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. I've ran fourth at Martinsville last year and third uh, at Lancaster on the modified tour. And then we ended up winning the North South shootout. Um, what is it? A year and couple, about a year ago. Um, you know, we've had some good success. Sat on the pole at uh, Oswego last year for the NASCAR Mod Race, and uh, we plan on, uh, you know, running a good amount this year, too. I think Very the nice. first race for us, if I don't race next weekend, um, will be Richmond, April 1st. So, no, that's, so when you see him, and you don't see him next weekend, at least you know where he is. He's down in Delaware <laughs> having fun. So hit yeah. that blue E, guys. That'll subscribe. And over time, we're talking to somebody cool. Good to see you again. Yeah, good and to see you, too, And hopefully we'll Doug. be talking about another one here in not too long a time. <laughs> okay. So. Thanks. Thanks, Max.